The only two things in life that are guaranteed are death and taxes. And I didn't want to be a mortician. I have a couple of jokes uh, and then I'll get into it for real. My first joke is, you know, the only two things in life that are guaranteed are death and taxes. And I didn't want to be a mortician. And so uh, I thought that, you know, tax was about as uh, safe a career path as you could find. And, you know, my other joke is I don't want my clients to be legally obligated to hire me. I want them to, you know, I want them to hire me because they want to, not because the SEC is making them. Honestly, it was the my, my father-in-law, who's now my business partner. Uh, I... I saw the lifestyle he had. I saw the relationship he had with his clients. You know, on the tax side, I think you really get to play a, a much more involved um, advisory role. You know, you, you really can help people run their business and guide them. Whereas, you know, on the audit side, you have independence rules and, you know, other things that can sometimes get in the way. And I just, I live in Reno, Nevada. There aren't, is it nearly the demand for audit here? There aren't nearly as many, you know, publicly traded companies. And so, you know, while there's still plenty of firms that do a lot of audit work, the clients that I really looked forward to working with were clients who, who hire a CPA for taxes. And they, you know, maybe they need to review financial statement every now and again, which we'll do, uh, but they don't need audit. I was fortunate enough that I actually had the opportunity to work a full-time job that could support me through college pretty comfortably. And that was in the construction industry. I did uh, estimating for a really large architectural millwork firm Essentially, it's fancy. It's like really fancy woodworking. But I realized that I really like working with contractors and people in the construction industry and that just a little more kind of blue collar type environment. And that most of the construction companies, you know, any of the construction companies that would work with a local CPA in you know, Reno don't need audits. And so they're not looking for an auditor. They're looking for someone to help them kind of tax plan and you know, strategize you know, on the business side. And so I just knew tax was going to get me into the rooms that would let me have the conversations that I really look forward to having.